Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in this particular video I will uh, cover one more topic related to K nearest neighbor algorithm and with this we will close our this particular topic and we will go to our next machine learning algorithm. Okay, so the course the topic is same unknown sample can be classified in different way okay depending on k values okay suppose you are taking small k values then it may happen that your particular unknown sample is classified to suppose class number one then if you increase the k value it may happen that same uh, unknown sample is classified to a different class class two okay like that also happen uh, that i am going to demonstrate using one small example Suppose I am having the known data points or the training data sets are 1, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0 and 0, 2. Okay, respective y and x and y coordinates. I have written in different array. Okay, and the class are for 1, 0 coordinate, class is CA. For 3, 0, class is CA. For 0, 0, class is CB. For minus 1, 0, class is CB. And for 0, 2, class is CB. Okay, just uh, assume randomly. Now, we have to do classification for, for the point 1 comma 1 if the KNN rule is applied with K equal to 1 or 3. Okay. Now let us check what we will be getting the result for uh, K equal to 1 and for K equal to 3 for the same unknown data point 1 comma 1. Okay. So let me go to MATLAB. See, here I have written just one part extra that I will be discussing. Same code as uh, the algorithm I have discussed in my previous video, CLC clear all, close all, then warning off. Then to store the output, uh, we are taking this particular empty array. Then we are taking our training data set and then we are uh, basically here calculating the distance. Okay. And then here we are printing the distance. Then we are applying bubble sort technique to sort the distance along with that sort the class also. And after that, we will be taking the uh, first k values and nearest the smallest k distance and out of that we will be calculating the mode and we will store that in the output array okay this is what we have seen in our previous video also but here one more extension for visualization purpose that is this particular part what i have done here basically there are two classes in our question right one is ca another one is cb so what i have done i have just uh, uh, to visualize this particular plot in a figure window, what we can do, we can basically uh, um, take the class A for one line style and for class B another line style and uh, we can plot two different class, right? So for i equal to 1 colon length of CA, if C of i equal to equal to CA, then style equal to style B plus. I'll be plotting plus symbol with blue color else that is class b then style equal to st uh, the style will be red star okay in the if else in the for loop and this is what about our which data set training data set and then for test data set also we have to plot simply i am plotting uh, suppose scatter plot okay uh, here this particular part this particular part is basically to plot this scatter scatter plot and here this particular for loop is basically used to plot the training data points okay plot xi comma yi comma style line with comma 5 and here this particular part is used to plot the uh, data set which are basically test data set okay see length of xg what is xg xg is basically see here uh, where i have written yep yeah. See, xg is basically used to store the first parameter of the value of the test and yg is basically used to store the second parameter value of the test. So, xg and yg are basically our test data set. Okay. So, test data set we are plotting, scatter plot and we are increasing, uh, we have increased the line width to 5 to uh, visualize properly. Now, first of all, before going to visualization, let me just run the code for uh, k equal to 1 okay without visualization so let me take this particular part and perform evaluate selection so now enter the k value suppose i am taking k equal to 1 enter how many times you want to run the code for us only one test data point is there right and that is nothing but 1 comma 1 so if i write enter the first parameter is 1 second parameter is 1 i'll be getting uh, output in our uh, 
this output variable which is nothing but ca okay so if we are having uh, k equal to 1 then our uh, code will basically classify this particular test or unknown sample as class ca okay and from uh, for k equal to 3 let us check what will happen so let me just take up to visualization that is before visualization part from here just let me copy the event and evaluate selection enter the k value 3 how many times one time first x coordinate 1 y coordinate 1 now if i write output c we will be getting c b okay so same unknown sample is classified once to c a another time once to c b now if we just do visualization we can understand why this is happening suppose enter the k value suppose k value i am taking as 3 or 1 whatever we can say uh, take for the time being for visualization so um, how many times you, you want to run the code one time and how first parameter second parameter all are one if i hit enter then i'll be getting the visualization of our uh, this particular k nearest neighbor algorithm now this particular black color is basically nothing but our test data this particular red uh, star are basically for what see here i have already written red star are for the class cb because if classical to ca it is mapped to blue plus right so for cb these are basically data points this one this one and this one and for ca here one is present and here one more okay now you can clearly understand suppose k equal to one which point is nearest with respect to this test data point this particular point is nearest right this particular and what is this class this is blue uh, blue what is the line style blue plus okay so blue plus is basically nearest for k equal to 1 in our test data set so test data set is mapped to ca when we are having uh, k equal to 1 okay but see what it is happening for this particular case when we are taking uh, k equal to 3 it is mapping to cb and why what is the reason very simple uh, k equal to 3 means three closest pair it three closest closest point it will check so with respect to this particular test data set this particular point this particular point and this particular point these three points are closest out of which these two majority are coming to class b okay so that for k equal to 3 the test data point is mapped to class b so what we can see same unknown sample is mapped to one time ca another time cb just the difference is basically k value okay so this is i wanted to show you this is all for my this video same code i will be posting in the comment section if you want you can check there and if you want to know the detailed algorithm of k nearest neighbor please check my previous video that link i will be posting in the description okay this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment and if you have not subscribed our channel till now don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest video thank you for watching